Here's what's happening on full plate today. We are in the kitchen the entire half hour. We're going to start out with wine for breakfast. Sort of. We're gonna have a great grilled cheese sandwich and white sauce. What do you see this recipe? And finally, we're gonna find out the secret to a really fantastic caramel apple. It's like I'm seeing all the blue skies and I'm walking on the air tonight. going. Welcome to the program. Oh, good morning. <laughs> good morning, both of you. All right, so you guys own a winery. This sounds to me like the American dream. Uh, Bob and Mary, uh, say the name of your uh, winery. Chateau Thibault. And is your last name Thibault? Yes. Mm -hmm. So you almost had to have a business with the name Chateau. <laughs> yeah, exactly. It worked yeah. out well for our French winery. Yeah. Excellent. Yeah. So uh, that's the situation. You guys opened a winery with some land that you had, and it's turned into a fantastic business. It has, yes. We're expanding right now um, our ta indoor tasting room and um, we have 36 acres uh, about two acres of grapes um, so it's a real farm and, and wonderful experience you can come out and enjoy the wines but it's also seeing um, the production and the vineyard and a real farm experience and um, all of our guests today are part of this wine festival that we're having here in Northwest Ohio called the Glass City Wine Festival. And you're going to be at the festival uh -huh. showing what you guys produce, it's, you know, getting a chance people get to taste it, they get to purchase a bottle. I mean, when we think of wine, we don't always think of Ohio or Northwest Ohio, but talk about how, how has there been, you know, from the get-go, you've been really pretty successful. It's uh -huh. a great place to grow, but you do a few things, I'm sure, differently to kind of adapt to the climate. Well, yes, we have, as, because I'm the vineyard manager and I take care of the vineyards, mm -hmm. um, oh, they have developed so many new hybrids to be of able grape. to, of grapes that can be grown in our climate here. Mm -hmm. uh, for instance, this is Tremonette, mm -hmm. and it uh, comes in a dry red, or dry white, or a sweet white, uh -huh. and it's a Gewürztraminer hybrid. We can't grow Gewürztraminer in our region, but we can grow that. So, and, and then on the far end, I've never had rhubarb wine. Yeah. Yep. And because we know we can grow rhubarb. That is very interesting. You said people who don't even like rhubarb like this wine. They seem to, yeah. Every time they, oh, I don't even like rhubarb. <coughs> Excuse me. But they like so If the they get a taste, they like it, yes. All right, mm -hmm. and we also want to let people know, um, we're going to link on fullplate.tv to your website so people can maybe plan a weekend or a visit to see all the different things that you have going on. But what a neat I mean, I want to, when I grow up, I want to be you. <laughs> <laughs> I'd like this as my retirement. Note to my husband, uh, he's going, no. <laughs> there's, a lot, there's a lot of fun stuff in it, but there's yeah. a lot of hard work, too, when you're working in a vineyard and, mm -hmm. and producing a wine in the back room. I mean, there's plenty of hard work for it somebody sounds, if they want to work. It sounds yes. very challenging, <laughs> very challenging, but what a beautiful result. So. Yeah. Um, we didn't want to have, one, well, I would have had wine for breakfast, <laughs> but we want to make it socially acceptable, so we're going to put it on a pancake, right? Right. <laughs> <That's all> right. <laughs> so you guys had a great idea when we talked about how to kind of do a segment here. Just me tasting wine is, you know, it's fascinating to me, but probably not to anybody else. So this is a fantastic use of one of your products. Talk yes. about, this was a kid favorite too. Yes, our, ch our two daughters when they were little, we used to make pancake syrup on Saturday morning out of Cabernet Sauvignon or any wine that we wanted to that choose. That sounds so fancy by the way. <laughs> and they'd that get all, awesome. yeah, their That's eyes would living. light up, you know, uh -huh. when they see the sauce, I'm doing wine, you know, oh, so they're wow. so excited. So how we do it is we just take the Cabernet Franc, which is our signature okay. dry red, and we take a cup of that and pour it into a small saucepan. Okay. I'm going to put this saucepan over one here. Okay. That's okay. okay. You can move that while I turn that one on. So you've got a cup into this Wrong saucepan. Okay. Yes. Turn and you tur off. turn your uh, saucepan or your burner on high. Okay. And uh, you're adding, Just he's adding both brown sugar and uh, white sugar. And get that incorporated into the, oops. That's okay. <laughs> into the wine. So and you have a, a, it's a sweet wine and you're adding more? It's a dry wine. We're okay. adding sugar to it. Okay. If you start with a sweeter wine, you can use any kind of wine. And uh, if you start with a sweeter one, you just reduce the sugar that you put in it. And uh, you can also use to sweeten it instead of just sugar and brown sugar like we're doing today. You could also use molasses mm -hmm. and you could use uh, honey. 
Okay. Any, anything that would sweeten it up. And you want to cook it until, it takes about 15 to 20 minutes to bring this to the the syrupy consistency that you want for your pancakes. Well, and, and you also, just so you know, you're, you aren't serving alcohol. The alcohol burns out. Yes. The alcohol does burn mm -hmm. out, yes. So, <laughs> but you get a wonderful flavor behind. And, um, you know, you can try it with some fruit wines, too, like a strawberry. Um, have some strawberry pancakes and yeah. um, make the strawberry syrup to match it or... Um, a lot of other like blackberry or raspberry wines and um, I think it's really a would, fun thing. And this wine here in particular you could put walnuts in it and walnuts would go very good with the Cabernet. So yeah. do you spend a lot of time like coming up with uh, ideas too like this? I think this is such a beautiful idea to use your wine in a way that people maybe not originally would have thought of. Yeah well I, I don't I, I'm just a kind of an off-the-cuff guy. Uh -huh. I don't I don't take you know do recipes I I just think of something because I've cooked for so long that I kind of have an idea of what things go together well. I see. And like I did a beef stroganoff last week for Mary uh -huh. when we had some steak left over I just stripped it out and got a beef stroganoff recipe and it was delicious. Any wine in there? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Actually a cup of Cabernet Franc goes in there. To We're in there. Yeah. Okay and so you said this takes about 20 minutes mm -hmm. So we will, of course, magic of TV that a little bit. Yeah, you bring it up to a boil, and and when it, when it when it gets closer to the reduction that you want, the bubbles are going to get bigger and bigger. Mm -hmm. And once they get that big, you can just kind of slow it down, and take it off the the pot, and kind of feel it in your spoon. Will it thicken it. up a little bit? Oh yes. Mm -hmm. Okay. And okay. I got a sample of that here that we can pour on the pancakes. Oh wait, wait, wait! I want to do it above this so we can get oh, double okay. cameras here, right? So these are the pancakes. Did you make the pancakes, Mary? Uh, no, Bob made Bob the pancakes. Is, Bob does everything. You're just yeah. the beauty, right? No, she is. No. The, she is the girl that works. I packed on this all up. The numbers. Look at that. And yeah. it's delicious. Syrup. It looks delicious. You can taste it. I mm. love it. Yeah, it's delicious. Mm. And it's really syrup. I mean. Yes. And when it, when you, you when it cools it's down, beautiful. It's real, it goes back to being a little bit solid. Mm -hmm. And you can take and put it in your refrigerator and bring it out and just nuke it for about 30 seconds on 30 or 40 percent uh, power, I, and it'll come back to syrup. I can see. What's the specialty of Chateau de Beau? What's your wine that's we're coming into the spring season here? What what really worked out great that you're really mm -hmm. you know when we come to visit you would recommend, or if we come to the wine festival, you know this one. Um, you really ought to try Probably that. Is really? a, what, a what great we, spring this? wine. It's the Gewurz Demeanor Hybrid. Okay. Very crisp and clean with a lot of aromatics and floral aromas in it. It's just a wonderful crispy wine for a spring summer day. Just about the right timing too. Someone right. told me we're like four weeks away from warm weather. Right. From spring. <laughs> is the summer your busy time? That's when everyone tours the, the vineyard? I, it and is, but we're open year-round, okay. and um, we're, like you said, we're increasing our indoor seating because um, we have been very well accepted. Um, and uh, so if you get a chance to come out and see us, it's a great time to sample our wines. You can do sampling any time at the, at the winery. And um, so even in the winter, it's, mm -hmm. a, it's a great getaway. And we do a lot of special events, and we have... Do you do weddings? That's we, what I Yes, see we do. Lately. We do small weddings, and, and we're going to get to be a little bit... Uh, um, I can't find the one okay, that's we'll just, here. That looks just, bubbly, yeah, so we'll be getting there. Yeah, yeah we're getting close. And when close. you're cooking with wine, you got to remember that uh, even if you're doing something in like a stroganoff or something mm -hmm. like that, the most important thing is to pour your wine into whatever you're cooking with, and you keep smelling it because the alcohol is going to burn off and it gives off kind of a not pleasant mm -hmm. smell. And once you uh, stop smelling once that. Once you stop smelling that, then you can continue on with your recipe and, and uh, finish it up and it'll be really good. All right. <laughs> this is really, really good. A fantastic idea. Thank you so much. You're welcome. And again, your website will be linked to ours, fullplate.tv. And if you are in Northwest Ohio, you can meet both of these wonderful wine experts, sample their wine, and take home one of these. That's my plan. Yes. All right, when we come back, I call it grilled cheese, but it's fancy grilled cheese. So don't go away. Mm. I know, I call it grilled cheese.